We're quickly making our way through the summer, and that can only mean one thing, it's almost time for Samsung to announce a load of new gadgets. Samsung has just confirmed that its next Unpacked event is happening on Wednesday, July 26. As previously announced by the company, Unpacked is happening in Korea for the very first time this year. As with previous Unpacked events, you'll be able to watch the live stream for free right from your home. This latest Unpacked is expected to be a big show. As far as smartphones go, this is where we anticipate Samsung will announce the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Galaxy Z Flip 5. The Fold 5 is expected to be a fairly minor update, offering a very similar design and slightly upgraded specs compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 4. The big change we're expecting is a new water drop hinge design, which will allow the phone to finally close completely shut without an unsightly gap. Samsung has kicked off pre-reservations for its next-generation foldable devices. Those interested to get their hands on the devices early or at least be among the first to get them can pre-reserve a unit. Pre-reservations will also be available across Samsung's exclusive stores and leading retail outlets across the country. That's a lot of lovely new tech to go around, and even if you don't flip for foldables, the Galaxy Watch 6 and Galaxy Tab S9 will be vying for the throne in their respective segments. Needless to say, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 will be next in line for the title of this year's most premium Samsung phone, following the top-of-the-line Galaxy S23 Ultra. After a couple of years of smaller Z Fold updates, we're hoping to see bigger ones with the Fold 5. Competition is only heating up with devices like the Find M2 and the Google Pixel Fold and OnePlus V are also on the way. The biggest Fold 5 rumors point to a new water drop hinge design that could minimize the crease, a lighter build, a faster processor, and possible camera upgrades. The Galaxy Fold 5 could get the biggest design change the line has seen since inception. In lieu of any leaks telling us otherwise, we're going to assume that it will remain a book-style foldable, with a narrow outer display and a squarish inner display. The Fold 4 widened both displays and made them a bit shorter too, which helped them be more usable. And we hope that the Fold 5 keeps this subtle but important change. Based on recent leap-based renders, it should be stealing nearly the entirety of the Fold 4's look. The only difference will seemingly be the cameras, which will be separated, Galaxy S23 style. One of the most notable parts of the Z Fold series design is how thick and heavy the phone has to be to house that large inner display. It may be somewhat lighter thanks to new materials, but it'll still most likely weigh more than even the sturdiest regular smartphones. In fact, one rumor claims that the phone could be thicker and heavier than the Fold 4. This would be to allow space for a built-in S Pen though, so it would arguably be worth the extra weight and depth. The screens of the Fold 5 should be a 6.2-inch outer display and a 7.2-inch inner display, both using 120Hz refresh rates and old panels going by previous models. We had hoped Samsung may enlarge the cover screen, but Ice Universe reckons that's not happening. That inner display may change by having a larger, but shallower, crease at least according to Samsung's previous comments. Doing so makes the line through the display less visible overall. And more recent rumors suggest that Samsung could eliminate the crease completely on the Fold 5 with a new water drop type display structure. The new structure could work by allowing some portion of the inner screen to roll inside the phone's main body to prevent the display from creasing. Samsung apparently calls this mechanism a dumbbell type hinge internally, and the company reportedly patented this design back in 2016. Thanks to this new dumbbell hinge design, the durability of the Fold 5 might improve as well, and it will be able to withstand more folding and opening in its lifetime. According to the LX, Samsung is aiming to test the new hinge to 3 lakhs folds, 50% more than the Fold 4's 2 lakhs. The report also claims that it will be thinner and lighter than its predecessor as a result of the new hinge design. It may also finally add onboard storage for the S Pen Fold Edition that you can currently buy as an optional extra. It's annoying to have to store the stylus separately, or in a case that adds a lot of bulk to the back of the phone. So if Samsung can find a way to store the stylus in the Fold 5 without adding too much extra bulk, that would be perfect. The bad news is that leaker Yajish Brar says that it will have the same camera specs 50 plus 12 plus 10 megapixels. So don't expect the 200 megapixels main camera on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The good news is that he claims that the phone will offer new image sensors, so that should result in better image quality. However, a separate second leak says there could be no change from the Fold 4. To really rub salt into the wound, it would apparently be impossible to add a 200 megapixels main camera like the Galaxy S23 Ultra has. According to the latter, Samsung apparently wanted the Fold 4's cameras to be even better than they already were, but was limited by the phone's weight. Also, it's time for Samsung to ditch the inner under-display camera. While it lets you enjoy the display in full, the quality of the picture it produces just isn't good enough for anything outside of video calls. 
But without any rumors to back up this hope of ours, we assume it's sticking around. The safest bet for the Fold 5's chipset is that it will be a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or better. We're expecting the silicon to be announced soon and to power the vast majority of Android phones in 2023. That said, there may be a plus or similarly enhanced version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 that the Fold 5 would use instead. For instance, the Fold 4 uses a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, giving it a performance and power efficiency edge over the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip in phones from earlier this year, like the Galaxy S22 series. One source reckons it will use the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chip found in the Galaxy S23. Using the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy Silicon would give it a boost over regular Android flagship phones at least until a Plus version appears, but not necessarily the S23 series. Fortunately, it seems our fears are misplaced looking at new alleged benchmarks for the full 5. It offers a big performance boost over the Galaxy S23 series, even though it's using the same chipset. An obvious quality of life upgrade for the Fold 5 would be greater battery life. This will likely have to come from a more efficient chipset since Samsung's already short on room inside the phone so if it's possible, we want it so we can make the most of both displays without needing to run to a charger every few hours. Additionally, Samsung is also launching early device registrations. If you get to Samsung's website and fill out a brief form, you'll get a $50 Samsung credit that you can use when pre-orders launch for the upcoming devices. While not a huge savings, it's a no-commitment offer and guarantees you'll pay $50 less when pre-orders roll around. If you're even slightly interested in the next great Android smartwatch or the latest premium Android tablets, you owe it to yourself to get your reservation in right now on Samsung's website. Whichever device you reserve, if you sign up between now and July 26, you're going to secure an instant $50 Samsung.com credit when you actually pre-order the device. There's no obligation or pressure to make a purchase, so if you don't like what you see on July 26, no worries. In addition to its foldable smartphones, Samsung is also expected to launch the Galaxy Watch Series 6 and the Galaxy Tab S9 series. A new cultural driver is coming. Come along on our journey to discover an all-new Galaxy as we showcase our latest technologies designed to open possibilities and transform lives. It's going to make you want to join the flip side, Samsung said in its event invite. Samsung has been dominating the foldable phones segment for a long time and the company needs to come up with something strong to continue this. So how do you like these new updates on upcoming Fold lineup from Samsung? Let us know your expectations below in the comment section, and if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.